Hi, submarine friends. Well, the new engine for my diesel electric submarine is in. That's my uh, Kubota three cylinder diesel, which gives me, I think it has a max horsepower of 21, 16.8 continuous. But the machine it was running in was running 10 horsepower at uh, 2200 RPM. So I'll be slightly above 2200 RPM for the amount of hydraulic flow that I need. So what I'm doing now is I'm rigging up the exhaust system. So this part right here, this is the flexible coupler and I've just got a piece welded on here because I send the exhaust through my door for testing. But anyways, this piece right here bolts in and I did it this way so that the whole exhaust system can be removed from this piece uh, without you know trying to take the exhaust system apart and the door that seals this off is sealed to that plate so anyways what I'm doing now this piece is goes bolts onto the manifold now because this has such a teeny tiny manifold I don't need to make a water-cooled manifold I'm only making a water-cooled section from the exhaust manifold to this flexible coupler and um, the last engine did have a water-cooled exhaust manifold but this one is smaller and according to chat GPT I have enough steel mass here in submerged in the water that I'm not going to have an issue with cooling and when I was testing the the uh, Yanmar engine it was it stayed nice and cool in there even just sitting in my shop so I'm pretty confident that this is going to be good so this simply bolts onto the side of the manifold and then I've got a 90 degree elbow that I will weld on right here like so and then there's this stainless steel pipe that gets welded on like so and then the end of this pipe welds onto the flexible coupler. Now this is the neat part, is this one slips over. This is too long still. And that creates the water jacket. And so I've got these steel rings that will weld on like so. And then that will create the void around this stainless steel pipe for the water to cool it. Now I made the identical thing for the Yanmar engine. And it worked just terrific because you can see here I've got a hose bib for a garden hose. So I was just running the, our municipal water through it to cool it. And I could actually hang on to this thing with the engine blasting away. So it definitely works very well to cool uh, the, uh, the pipe. So I'm pretty happy with it. I'm pretty pleased with the whole switching engine to this little guy. I just have so much more room to work with in there, it's really nice. And I've also figured out how I'm going to mount this and where I'm going to mount it, and this is the heat exchanger. So according to ChatGPT, this is sized just right. Uh, it doesn't have a whole lot of room to spare in terms of cooling ability, but it's definitely sufficient to cool the engine. So. The water flows in, goes through the heat exchanger, then goes through the exhaust, and then it leaves out the top right here, and then it leaves through the hull to cool the, um, the exhaust valve that's outside the hull. It's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. The engine bolted in, no problem. I just had to move one of the rails here for mounting it. I just drilled and threaded, and um, just bolts down on its rubber mounts. Piece of cake, really, it's just, and the engine's only 150 pounds, so it's really easy to manhandle around and pull in and pull out. I've got my engine hoist here to just pick it up and move it. It's really turning into a really nice uh, conversion that I'm doing. I just like it, it's gonna be quieter too. It's a much quieter diesel. I don't know why, but it's just plain quieter. And it's got the built-in hydraulic pump. So with the Yanmar, I had my own coupler system and I was running it off the front harmonic balancer. And I wasn't overly thrilled about that. So now I have the proper bell housing with the pump mounted to it and the rubber coupler right of, you know, all Kubota stuff. So it'll be nice and reliable. That's what I need. 
So that's it for today. That's my progress. Ciao.